Hey, what up? It's Chris from Laser Lemming, and as you can tell, we have some subpar lighting going on. That's because it's nighttime. I'm filming this at night because I am now, once again, an employed person, uh, you know, making them big retail bucks. So, right now, you gotta deal with this low lighting because I got a nice quality voice coming out at, at the expense of maybe um, subpar lighting. So that's what it is. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about PlayStation Plus versus Xbox Live Gold. I want to compare the service values, and we're gonna start with um, we're gonna start with the games. We're gonna because PlayStation Plus came out the gate talking about uh, we're gonna give you free games if, as long as you pay for this. I mean, it's not really free if you're paying for it, right? But it's kind of free because they say it's free. So. If you're a member of PlayStation Plus and you're getting your free games, you're getting them every month. Sony uh, pumps these things out. I don't know what kind of back-end deals they be doing, but they be doing them. And this month, in November 2013, they put out about seven games across three different platforms. Now those three, platform, now those three platforms are the PlayStation Vita, the PlayStation 3, and now the PlayStation 4. That's three PlayStations, all right? So if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you got some options. Three of those games came out for the PS3, two for the PS4, and two for the Vita. What were those games? Well, on the PS4, they had a Resogun, which is a game people were kind of excited for, and Contrast, which is like a puzzle and platforming game, I think. PS3 it had Dragon's Dogma and uh, Binary Domain, and this game called Ibn Op, right? Whatever, right? Vita had uh, had two games, one of them was Stranger's Wrath, and one of them I can't even remember. That's how unenthusiastic I am about this month's PS Plus games for free. <laughs> right? Right? You know why I'm so unenthusiastic? Because I saw the games that were coming out for games for Xbox Live Gold. And if you are a Gold member, you gotta be just laughing at these PlayStation Plus members right now, right? They're little bitches, right? Because guess what Gold members get this month? They get Iron Brigade, and A World of Keflings. Drop the mic. Ding, ding, round over. K.O. Goodbye, Sony. Microsoft just dropped the bomb. They given people a world of Keflings. Do they know their audience or what? It's like when they gave Halo 3 away. They knew that barely any Xbox 360 owners owned a Halo 3. So they gave it away. Microsoft just has this shit locked down. I'm sorry if I'm showing some biases here, but Microsoft just knows their audience. That's why they're giving away a world of Keflings. That shit lets you use your avatars all over the place. Now, what else? What else? Let's compare Xbox Live Gold versus PlayStation Plus a little bit more. Uh, let's talk about services, for example. How about Netflix, Amazon, Hulu Plus? PlayStation Plus... It's not even required to use those things. It's not even required. You don't have to even subscribe to PlayStation Plus in order to play Netflix or Hulu or Amazon. That's that's just an afterthought. Xbox Live Gold required in order to play any of them things. That look, come here. Value. Do you understand that? Xbox Live Gold represents value. You pay an extra ten dollars. I mean, Xbox Live Gold costs sixty bucks a year. PlayStation Plus costs fifty bucks a year. You pay the extra ten bucks to show that you are better than these PlayStation bitches. All right. That's why it costs more. That's why it's required in order to use these services that are regularly free on every other platform available. Literally every other platform available. That's why Xbox Live Gold is the king. All right, it represents value, status, elitism. It makes you better. That's why it's important that Microsoft can charge you for these things and uh, put a paywall behind every possible service imaginable. That's their dream, and I think it's really working out for them. And I think that's why Xbox Live Gold is a better value than PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus is for people that just want to be an Xbox Live Gold member, but they can't do it because they don't have the Xbox. So that was my unbiased review about what I think about PlayStation Plus versus Xbox Live Gold. And I'd like to know what you think. Why do you think Xbox Live Gold is so much better of a value than PlayStation Plus? Post your thoughts in the comment section below. I really want to know. And if you haven't, please subscribe for more. I got a comedy channel. You should check that out too. 
I thank you very much for watching. I really want to know your opinion. Let me know. I'll see you in the next one.